Hey everyone, my name is Chad. I am a Jesus follower. I am the pastor at Henderson General Baptist Church. And today I want to take five minutes and I want us to think about pressures of life. That is the motivational word of the day. Uh, and for this video and maybe some of the upcoming videos, uh, not going to be a lot of uh, extra video editing into it. I just want to give you some information. One of the things I think about is pressures in life. And what I know about pressure in life is, is that I feel pressure in life. I feel pressure around every corner. I feel pressure as a father. I feel pressure as a husband. I feel pressure as a pastor. I feel pressure as a Papa, I feel pressure uh, whenever I go around my everyday life. I feel pressure when I'm driving down the road and a police officer pulls in behind me wondering, am I doing everything right? I feel pressure whenever I'm coaching my, my daughter's soccer team, whenever I'm doing different things. There's pressure around every corner. And here's one of the things I know about pressure. One of the things that I do to work out is is that I do shoulder things. And these bands, what I do is I'll do like this. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm wobbling a little bit with that. And it's providing pressure that's constantly wanting to take me out of this position. And the problem is with this, it's constantly pulling, right? Now, I'm not trying to exercise here. I'm just trying to show you what the world standard is for your life. And what happens is, is when that pressure caves, boom, that band is always going to go back to its original spot. See, in life, the pressures of your life, the pressures of this world, what continues to happen is it keeps pushing you in and in and in. Have you ever had a jar maybe like this or, or one of these kind of jars? It's got a, a rubber seal on the inside and you go to open it and you can't. And then you take it to somebody else and say, hey, why don't you open this? Here's one thing, and this is a trick. I do this a lot with my kids, uh, is I start opening. So right now, I'm just providing pressure. I'm not changing the pressure. I'm not doing any more. I'm just providing a little bit of pressure, right? And what will inevitably happen is, is it will finally give. If you've ever got a jar that you can't hardly open, and it's sitting there and it's stuck, press until you finally get to that pressure, and you'll start to feel it giving a little bit. And when you start to feel that lid giving a little bit, you know it's getting ready to spin open, right? That's what the world's pressures on us do. Whether you're a mom or a dad, whether you're a boss or you're an employee at work, all the pressures of life keep pressing in on you. Those pressures make us become discouraged. Those pressures make us become anxious. Those pressures make us get to the place in our life that we try to soothe ourselves in fashions that that don't work. Uh, we, we eat different foods because they make us feel good at the moment. We drink alcohol because it makes us feel good for the moment. You do these things uh, that, that soothe you in the moment, but the pressures are never relieved. And until we come to the place in our life that we realize that the pressures need to be relieved or we're going to spin out of control. For instance, the other day I left my cup like this and the lid was just there like that and my son came and shook my protein shake up but the lid popped open <laughs> it went everywhere sooner or later if we're not careful that's what happens in our life the pressures of life keep becoming too much your motivational word for your today is the pressures of life but i want to give you a verse today it's found in first peter chapter 5, and it reads this, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Another version says, Casting all your anxieties on Him, for He cares for you. Today, as you listen to this, and you think maybe your pressures aren't as big, and this band is smaller, look, not wavering, not wandering. I can hold this for much longer, but I promise you, even the small pressures of life will finally become too much. You can't keep carrying around the pressures of your life on your own. The only way you're going to manage is when you realize there's one who truly does care for you. His name is Jesus. He loves you, and he has a purpose and a plan for your life. And yep, the pressures of this world 
will sooner or later snap back at you. Who are you going to give your cares today to? Motivational word for the day? Look at your cares. Look at your worries. Look at the pressures that are on you right now. And realize until you really give those pressures to the one who loves you, you'll never be able to live to the fullest of your life. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again. Please leave a like, a comment, uh, some kind of questions. As this thing continues going forward, I want to help as we move forward in life, looking at ways to motivate one another in the love of God. I will talk to you next time.